So, with Battlefield Hardline's full release coming closer and closer by the day, EA and Visceral have started to drive home some information about what we can expect from the title. Just a couple of days ago, Steve Papoutsis, Visceral's general manager and lead developer on Battlefield Hardline, started a new series of information drops called This Season on Hardline. This links into the episodic style that Visceral have implemented into the single player campaign within the game, but here they're using the tagline to give the community some information each week on a Wednesday. And this week, the first week of that information, we got to have a look at two new maps coming to the game, Hollywood Hills and Blood Out. Now Hollywood Hills was actually showcased in the recent Karma trailer for Battlefield Hardline. If you haven't seen that trailer, I'll link my own breakdown in the description that picks out some of the things that I thought were most important in that trailer. So you can expect to see weapons that haven't been announced yet, some micro destruction in there that's bringing back the close quarters DLC from BF3. They really hit home with micro destruction there. And some larger scale Levolution events, but they seem to be all much more refined than what was in Battlefield 4. And that's alongside the standard epicness of the trailer itself. I thought it was a really cool trailer. Now, Blood Out, the other map, is what really interests me. Now, I can't say too much here. <laughs> I wish that I could say more, but I can't. But I have a funny feeling that fans of maps like Metro and Zebra Tower and, and Noshar Canals from previous Battlefield games are really going to enjoy Blood Out. From the screenshot, we can't gather too much. It doesn't look like it's going to be a really big open map, so it might be a close quarters map. But when the time is right, I'll spill the beans on what you can really expect from this map. Moving from those maps into the next beta. We've been waiting a long time for this to come along. And the last one was in June 2014, and that was seven months ago now. And I still hear people on social media and in the comment section on my video saying, I'm not going to pick up Hardline, I played the beta, I didn't like it, it's just a reskin of Battlefield 4. That was seven months ago. And the reason they did that beta is so that they could take that feedback on and mould the game into what the community wanted it to be. They've taken all of that information over the last seven months and you can see the evidence on social media from guys like Thad Sasser, who's the lead multiplayer designer, You've got the two Zacks, one working on multiplayer and one working on single player. Steve Papoutsis himself is always interacting with people over social media and letting us know about changes that they've made. And I'm really impressed with what they have made. And it's kind of leaning me forwards into wanting the beta right now. I really want to get my hands back on it. But I guess we'll have to wait a little bit longer. At the moment, we don't have any confirmed information for what's going to be in this second beta. But looking at what the rumour mill is spouting out at the moment, we're looking at potentially a late January, early February beta release. And that kind of falls in line with previous Battlefield titles like Bad Company 2, BF3 and BF4. They always had this beta slash demo roughly around a month before the release of the final game. And that kind of fits in with that sort of time frame. And I really think that Visceral are going to be using this beta, first of all, to make sure that all the gameplay changes that they've made are going to work for the final release. I'm really confident that they have anyway. They've had seven extra months to make sure that's the case, which is great. But I really think they're going to pitch it to the community as more of a demo. Here you go. Go and play Hardline. See what you think now. See what you think about some of the changes that we've made this time round. And then make a decision as to whether this game is going to be for you. With all that hardline information out of the way, I just want to say one thing. I've had a lot of comments recently from people on Twitter, Facebook, in YouTube comments, pretty much everywhere that I interact with people, for, for them asking me to, to do a setup video for my PC. Now, I'm currently in the middle of doing that. I'm trying to make sure it's as best that I can make it and detail as I want to make it, but not too much in detail so I don't bore you. I've decided to do a little bit more of a showcase of my PC as well as the setup and everything that's included. So I've just finished recording all of like the real life stuff, look, looking inside the case and everything like that. And hopefully I should have enough time to edit it up and get it up for you next week. So if it's something you're looking forward to, then uh, make sure you look out for it in the next week or so. But anyway, that's about it for this video. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you could hit me up with a rating. That'd be fantastic. But until next time, my name is Westy, 
and I'll catch you guys in the next video.